Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a car with a turbo charged engine. Doesn't matter if it's a BMW, Mercedes, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, Ford, doesn't matter what it is. If you have a turbo charged engine, you have an over boost condition where the boost, okay, is too high. Stay with us, we'll explain what can cause that and don't drive that uh, away your car because it can actually cause quite a bit of damage and we'll explain why. Before we start, let me tell you guys a little bit about us. We'll show uh, first the top four things that can cause that over uh, boost condition the four most popular one that we see here uh, at the shop based on our experience if you need to buy any parts tools for your car and you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money something else every single car we get here in the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos now let's explain what we have specifically here this is a bmw we guys okay uh, uh we had an over boost condition in the past i'll explain what caused that now actually what we fixed today was under boost condition which is another problem okay the opposite of that one uh but some of those things can actually cause under boost or over boost condition that we'll be talking today so uh, most engines nowadays on cars are little displacement engines with uh, turbochargers that way they're more efficient clean burning and lightweight so they can produce more power as well uh, what can cause uh, over boost guys number one thing loose vacuum line believe it or not many turbo engines will use uh, wastegate actuators that are controlled controlled by uh, vacuum lines that vacuum line okay if you have a loose vacuum line or solenoid controlling the vacuum line guys okay or a vacuum line that broke or came off will not actually move the wastegate and as a result you can cause over boost condition the wastegate is the gate in the exhaust the turbo where if the turbo starts building too much pressure it will open as a result the hot exhaust, exhaust gas will not go through the turbo so we do not spin the turbo more as a result it will not build more pressure number two it could be a bad actuator as well but <coughs> what else okay you may have a different wastegate actuator it could be electronically controlled and in that way maybe they failed as well number two it could be a diverter valve this is the diverter valve dv valve it's installed on the turbo usually guys okay most of them are electronic nowadays our failed to where it was losing boost okay so that's what was causing our boost condition but uh, <coughs> when they fail they can be stuck close and that can cause actually over boost condition as well number three guys could be best bad wastegate or not being actually uh, not being uh, adjusted correctly you can see how we can adjust the wastegate arm here with that nut and the wastegate arm can open or close and if it's actually to the point where it cannot open all the way it's not adjusted correctly that can result into overboost as well and lastly guys okay <coughs> that we see quite often it could be a bad turbo map sensor turbo map sensor guys will not read correctly as a result that can affect it as well so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that if you have any questions let us know thank you guys for watching and see you next time